What is up guys? Welcome back or to the channel. If it's your first time stopping in, go down below and hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. It feels really good to be filming again. We're filming over this direction, now over here, because we got, already got new parts coming in for the truck. Feels like last summer all over again, um, ordering the same stuff, but better brands did a lot more research and spent a lot more money. But anyways, today, well, in the video, we are gonna be replacing the axle bushing because unfortunately I was told to drill it out to one size. And of course, like everything else, it was another size. So luckily I caught up in the first one instead of drilling out all four and having to replace them all, that'd be a pain in the butt. But anyways, even sourcing the bushing in the first place is a pain in the butt, um, especially in the time crunch that I had, everything was. Anyways, so getting it out was also a pain in the butt. It, was a, it wasn't fun, it didn't come out like I thought I was gonna uh, with a tool. But I did pick up this tool from your local Home Depot is where you can get it. it by just by sourcing some parts and putting them together. Ace Hardware, really any hardware store you can pick that up. Super easy. I ended up modifying it to work better. I started out with some ABS, but that wasn't a good idea. Um, so I switched to some other stuff. My arm's getting tired because I've had to refilm this twice now because the first time my mic wasn't plugged in. Anyways, um, short, quick video. Um, that way if you're like filming, filming. That way if you guys are l trying to replace your axle bushing right now, it's just a straight to the point video, no BS. Hope you guys enjoy it, let's jump into it. Twenty four hours later. And probably going after that <laughs> and, uh, Volkswagen just took off like a bat out of hell. <laughs> Seventy-two hours later. Yes. Let's go. Thank you. Axel. Not the way we wanted it to go, but it's out. Thank God. How to uh, drill out around all the rubber, and then use the sawzall to cut out around all the rubber. Then we got the uh, metal sleeve out, and then we got the uh, surrounding part. Pain in the butt, but. Uh, it's out. The problem why the uh, ABS didn't work was because we got a four inch cap. So the uh, inside diam diameter is bigger than four inches, obviously. And this was about three and three quarters, I believe. Yeah, so we should have got a four inch pipe and just cut it. Yeah, you can see but, yeah. it just was off center. Just enough. It was just slipping off. So use it, that little bit. It slightly moved. It like, tried. Yeah, it probably would have worked if we got the right size. Yeah, if it would have pulled more on center instead of off center. But we got it. All right, so it's the next day and we got the part in. Part number is right here if you guys want to find it. Here's what it looks like. Pain in the butt to find, but we got it. So we're going to go ahead and clean up the edges and uh, slide her in there. Thank you. 
this thing was a pain in the butt to get, but we finally got her all nice and seated. I actually took the uh, old little drop down center pieces that were on the uh, drop buckets for the springs. And I uh, took that, that big plate off there, drilled it out to five eighths, and uh, we got it to work. Heck yeah, thank God, it's a huge sigh of relief. Now I can go through and uh, get the rest of the axles painted. Making tools. Yeah, right. So that was going to be a wrap on today's video. Like I said, it was a shorter one, but I wanted to at least make something um, to put on YouTube because I didn't find anything on YouTube or on the forums or even pictures on Google as far as replacing the axle bushings on the Dodges. So hopefully if you guys are in the same problem, it helps you out. This tool right here definitely helped with seeding it all the way. If it wasn't for that, I don't think we would have got it because even hammering it all the way, just, it wouldn't seat fully. So that tool definitely made it possible. All things you can get from Home Depot or any hardware store, like I said before. If you guys enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. If you're new here, go down below hit that subscribe button. I'm going to go in and finish editing this video. Um, it's 4 in the morning, and then I'm going to go to work. So I will see you guys next Friday. Enjoy your weekend. Hot.